do some pretty cool tricks with this thing. Brakes spinning around, awesome. I guess if it works, keep rolling with it, right guys? Team Associated has come out with a number of RC vehicles based on this Pro 2 short wheelbase platform. I've already reviewed the short course truck here on the channel. On the RC Driver 2 channel, I showed you guys the Dakar version of it. And now we have this, a hot rod. It's a two wheel drive platform, brushless. Just gotta add your battery and charger. It'll get you up and running. And I think we need to take a quick look at this. Let's get it out of the box. Okay, this is pretty cool. It's a murdered out hot rod truck. Let's hit the highlights here. It's a Lexan body, painted black, simple flame decals on each side and decals for the windows, like the big scoop on the front of it and the rest is just simple. No fender flares. The thing is guys, the front grill decal is askew and come on, we, we gotta straighten things out here at Team Associated. Don't pump these through too quick, but it does have a cool look to it. It's gonna look awesome ripping down your street. Let's take a quick look at the chassis now. And again, we've seen this before. It's their short wheelbase, which is basically like a buggy stance here. Buggy swept arms. They have the truck shock towers on it. So we got the long travel oil filled aluminum shocks. One of them's leaking from the factory. So again, I think they need to slow it down with their builds. What I do like, they've got some really good sturdy arms and shock towers, cast block steering knuckles. Uh, they have the adjustable tie rods for the camber, for the tow. I also like the steel pin plate up front. The rear arms are swept as well. They've got some really large hub carriers, 12 millimeter hexes out to these street tires and wheels. I believe these are used on their stock car. It feels like they just have a soft sponge insert on the inside and actually the rear is collapsed a little bit. So I, they sh probably should have used a bit larger of a foam in there. We'll check out the tire wear after I run it a couple times. Simple body mounts, you could go and adjust those in case you wanna throw some other body on it. The chassis itself is composite and they have Velcro straps to hold down the battery like this setup a lot better than the older uh, plastic straps down the center. Allows you to put larger 2S or 3S battery packs in it. Receiver box and then around the back transmission, it's got a gear differential on the inside, dual pad slipper clutch, aluminum motor plate, all the good stuff that we've seen from Team Associated before. Uh, steering cranks up front are ball bearing supported. That's really cool to see. And it does have a servo saver on the servo. Standard size servo with a Reedy label on it. Metal gear output shaft from what I could see. They've got the Reedy SC600BL. That's a two to three S capable speed controller. And then that pumps the power to a 3300 KV motor. Now what I really liked when uh, I went and popped the receiver box top off, I saw their DVC receiver in there, which means this is set up with a gyro. And on a two wheel drive car that's ripping around on the street, you definitely want a gyro because this thing is gonna get rear end happy on you. A little bit part of the fun, but this will help keep uh, the car under control. And you could go and adjust that if you want to. I think they've got a number of settings. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun for ripping down your driveways, up your street, and definitely in parking lots, which is where I'm headed right now. Let's go drive it. Look at this, guys, I got a whole entire parking lot to myself. And here we go on full throttle. Nice. I'm running this thing on 3S and this is actually towards the end of the pack. So hopefully I get enough talking time in. But this thing is actually really cool. I wasn't sure about this to be honest with you. I mean, I, I had fun with the other ones, but wasn't sure how it was gonna be as a road car. But I gotta tell you, this is pretty sick. The reason why I really like this is because it's got some ground clearance to it. I don't have to worry about the ripples in the pavement or any cracks or anything like that. It's got so much suspension travel that it soaks it up. The only thing is like with any two wheel drive car, you gotta watch it when you let off the throttle, go into a corner, cause it's gonna wanna spin out on you. But if you keep up on the throttle and watch your turns and make some wide turns in a big parking like this, you're good to go.
It's got plenty of steering, and then sometimes if you overcorrect, that AVC will kick in, help straighten the thing out. Ah, oh, bonus, I found some ripples in the pavement. A little air time. Oh, that's a rough section over there. A little off-roading. <laughs> that is cool. You can see the ABC swinging around, keeping everything in control. All right, Associated, you got me with this release. This is actually really cool. Boom. Oh, oh man, hit. Still good. I hit right there. Wonder if there's any damage up front. Nope, just a little body damage. When the hot rod landed here in the workshop, I wasn't sure what to think about it. I know the chassis works well off-road, but I wasn't sure how it was gonna do on-road. And there in the parking lot, it was actually a blast. I had a lot of fun with it, actually went back out with it again, did a little speed test for you guys, and wound up going 28 miles an hour on a 3S battery pack. So there's your top speed. But yeah, just a lot of fun to rip around. Uh, uh, probably great for your street in front of your house or even your driveway, whatever. Pretty interesting variation on the chassis. And if you like on-road stuff, certainly something to check out. But here's the thing with this one, guys. It's priced at $350 right now, $349.99. And just looking around at some of the other options that are out there, you've got the Trophy Rat available from Team Associated for $297.99, so 300 bucks. And it's very similar to this, just a different body, different wheels and tires. And I believe that one has the longer chassis. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that one. Um, but a very similar platform that you can go run on-road and it's $50 cheaper. So I'd really like to see this one priced about the same. Uh, or maybe even a hair lower than that. So, uh, you know, if the body speaks to you, I guess you could go for the additional $50. But then again, there's some other options out there for 50 bucks more that, you know, are four wheel drive. So, you know, I, I think they need to work on their pricing a little bit. Again, I like to see a little bit lower, but I don't really have any complaints about it uh, other than my leaking shock at this point. And every car is built different, so maybe you won't have a leaking shock, uh, but I, I'm just gonna go swap out some O-rings in that, actually change the oils a little bit to firm it up. I think a little tuning will help it out. But yeah, if you're interested, I'll have links for it in the comments section below and let me know your thoughts on it.